Yo, 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 yo. I haven't done one of these videos for a long time, so please bear with me. Now, quick story to what I'm going to talk about. I have a UAD Apollo um, 2. Point, I mean, Apollo 2. Um, great device. Been using it for about, I think, a few months now. One day I came home, switched it on, and it wasn't coming on. See this little tiny menu we have here? It was showing red, saying... Um, something which can't find system or system not recognized, whatever. And he was driving me mad. So I did a reinstall of my Apple device, my, uh, my MacBook, literally the whole system, about think twice. For two days long, I've been struggling and fighting how to get this thing back on. Went online, couldn't find a lot of help. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I did after that, how I solved my issue. I think might work for everyone else. If it doesn't work, the best thing to do is just call Apple because they they have the same similar steps too. So first thing I did was, um, first thing I did was I went to my library. Okay, so we go to system library extensions. So in here, we're going to look for, yeah, there you go. So we got the two UAD there, you select both of them, you delete them. Yeah, once that is done, you go to your application. Then you go to the UAD folder that you have in the application. You uninstall the software. Once you finish with that, restart your computer again. So restart your computer. Uh, I think you have to restart your computer and put it... No, just restart your computer. Once the system has been restarted, yeah... You come back, you go and look, go and check again to the same file that you were. Um, so this, that, so that, and that, that, and then that. So check here if you still see that UAD thing. If you don't see it here, that means it's good. So what you do is you reinstall your UAD software. So you reinstall the UAD software. So basically, the software that, that you have the controller and your UAD meter control panel. So you reinstall that so you can get this thing here and you can get that back on the top there. Once that finish, you then have to do something. Now, it depends on which version of Apple you have. Now, Apple have built something in the system called like you have to give... Um, you have to prompt your software to accept certain kind of use for certain kind of softwares. So like say for instance, something like the UAD won't be accepted. So what you do is you open your system preferences. Yeah. You go to security. When you're security, there's going to be an application open here. One of them, one of them here, just check. It will say to you, um, do you want to give access to this whatever system? So you have to give them access. You know when you're trying to install something on Apple and it's not an Apple, um, um, say, uh, app, it will normally ask you, do you like want to give access to this app? Or you can just press this here and say, install any developer. It doesn't matter. So when you click on that and you give access to it, you restart your computer again, you come back on, then this thing is going to change to like the red letters that it's giving it to you to this, like, you know, so you know your system is working. This is the color of the thing you will see saying here. So it's going to change to like saying your system is active, system is working, everything is working fine. You understand? It gives you all the, you know, whatever you need. Had a little bit of help from Apple. And I can't say even a little bit because they helped me a lot. But thanks to them, I saw this problem and I thought I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If anyone is having the same issue. Anyway, name is Danny and you guys keep it real, keep the music alive.